Hey everyone, it's Whitney, and as some of you guys know, I actually own my own business. I make custom cakes and cupcakes, and I was just thinking that maybe you guys at home would want to know a way to make some really fashionable, cute cupcakes at home, and it's really simple, really easy, and I'm going to show you today how to make a Chanel logo cupcake, and cupcakes with bows on them that are super cute. For your next event, if you have anything girly coming up, you can definitely do this and impress your girlfriends. So if you want to see how I do this, just keep watching. Alright, so before we start, let me go ahead and tell you guys what you're going to need. First off, you're going to need some parchment paper. Just This is the Reynolds. And you can get this at any grocery store, Walmart, wherever. You're going to need some circle cutters. This. You can get these at Michael's, anywhere that sells like cookie cutters, stuff like that. And I'm going to be using the Wilton 2D tip. That one right there. I know you can get this at Michael's. You're going to need a little glass of water for your as glue. You're going to need a little paintbrush, and this is just a craft one. You're going to need a bench scraper. I know that's a really funny word. And this is made by Wilton. I'm going to be using this to pick stuff up with. But if you have anything with an edge, maybe like a table knife or something like that, that would probably work too. You're going to need some just regular tape. A rolling pin. And you can get this at Michael's, probably at Walmart, and this one is for fondant. And you're going to need fondant, of course. And I am using the Satin Ice brand today. You're going to need four different colors. I'm actually using baby blue, baby pink, white, and black. You can actually get fondant at a craft store, probably or even Walmart or Michaels, and you'll find the Wilton brand there. Um, I personally recommend getting the Satin Ice because I just like the way it tastes a lot better over the Wilton brand. But if you want to just get the Wilton brand, that's fine. You can actually get the Satin Ice online or through a cake supplier. And you just can get it in like a 5-pound bucket. You can get it in 20-pound buckets. But just for this project, I would get the smallest one you could get. Oh, and of course, you're going to need cupcakes and a little bit of buttercream. Or if you just want to get some pre-made icing at Walmart or a grocery store, that's fine as well. Before we get started, I actually want to point out that I'm using a silicone mat, especially for fondant. And fondant tends to stick to services without a mat or vinyl. You can actually go to Walmart and get a vinyl tablecloth over in the home section for $5. I think it's a great investment and your fondant will not stick to that. So you first want to start off with a piece of parchment paper. And I'm going to cut to like right here probably. Just a little kind of square. It does not have to be perfect. So I'm going to set that to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this up. This is actually going to be for our bows. And I'll show you how we're going to use this here in just a second. So you just want to roll this up. You're going to take a piece of tape. Start over here. And actually wrap it around just like that. And you're going to make a couple of these if you're doing more cupcakes, but we're just doing one today, so I'm going to make two of those. So now I'm just going to cut the top of this, the side that didn't have the tape, just to make sure it has a clean cut. I just cut out a little piece of parchment paper. I'm going to set that to the side because that's what we're going to put our bow on to dry on. I got a little ball of white fondant, and this is what we're going to make our bow out of. So I'm going to start by just kneading this out and working it with my hands. And I also forgot to mention, before you start messing with fondant or anything, you always want to make sure you wash your hands. So once this is all good and worked up 
and knead it out. I'm going to take my rolling pin and start by rolling this out. And you want this kind of thin, but not too thin. And another item that you're going to need is a pizza cutter, like this. And you're just going to cut out a little piece about that thick. You can eyeball it if you need to, you know, make a line to make it straight, that's fine. And I'm just going to take this little piece here and cut a little piece about that big. Cut like that. All right. So you want to make sure this is pretty straight, about like that. And I'm going to pull this up off. What was laying down, I'm going to turn over. I'm going to get my little piece of parchment paper here and lay it down on that. Then I'm going to take one of these little parchment rolls that I made. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to place it about right there. I'm going to take this piece and pull it over and scrunch it up like this. I'm going to take the back part and scrunch it up, kind of just put it in like that. And you're going to take your paintbrush with a little bit of water, not too much, just a little bit, and go over that little center part here. I'm going to take my other little roll and put it there. Now you're going to have to kind of just eyeball it and see if this is too long and obviously that's way too long. So you're going to just cut that off. You may have to do this a couple times until you get it just right because you don't want to cut off too much. It's better to cut a little at a time than too much. I pull this over and I scrunch this up too until it does like that. Now you have that. You're going to take this little square that we made. You're going to take a little more water and put that right there on the center. And then you're going to take this. You're going to take your finger and squeeze this together, and then this side. Kind of push it like that, put it over top of here. Pinch that a little bit, and then you have this. You can get it turned around here. You have a nice little ribbon. So you want to let this sit for probably about 30 to 45 minutes to an hour so it gets nice and hard. Since the bow is drying right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make the Chanel cupcake. I've already rolled out the baby pink satin nice fondant and did a circle cutout. So I'm going to pick this up. This is where the bench scraper comes in handy. Kind of just push it up under there a little bit to get it a little up and then you can just pick it up the rest of the way. Just like that. I have my cupcake here. I've already iced it with a little bit of buttercream and for this cupcake you don't want a lot of icing. So I'm going to just lay this on top of the cupcake and just push down on it around the edges. want to wipe the excess buttercream that was on the edges here. And there you go. You got your covered cupcake. 
So now I've got a little bit of black fondant here, and I'm just going to knead that up. And another thing you want to remember is when you're finished with your fondant, you always want to put it back in the bucket and seal it really tight because if you don't do that and you leave it out, then it will get really, really dry and you will not be able to use that piece anymore. You'll have to throw it out. So once I've kneaded this black fondant up, I'm going to take my rolling pin and roll this out, not too thin. Okay, for the Chanel logo, the C's in the logo are actually pretty circular and that's why we're using round cutouts. So I'm going to take the smaller one here and I'm going to make two of these, just like that. And then I'm going to take this right here. I find this works really well for me, but if you have a smaller cutout that works for you, you can do that. But this is the Wilton 2D tip. And I'm going to put this pretty much in the center of this and cut out this and do the same to the other one, like that. Then I'm going to pick up this excess. I'm going to take my pizza cutter and cut off about that much, just so it looks like a C for both of them, just like that. I'm going to take the centers out, just like that. Alright, so I'm going to take my bench scraper here, kind of try to pick that up a little bit, one of the sides. Okay. I'm going to turn it over on the other side, and I'm going to get a little bit of water here. Not too much at all. Just enough so it will stick to the cupcake. Just like that. Yep. Now I'm going to turn it over here and turn it like this. So it looks about right on the cupcake. Press down just a little bit. Then I'm going to grab the other C, turn it over, get a little bit of water, and this is going to go on top, like that. Just press that down. And you have a nice little Chanel cupcake. Now that the bow has set up a little bit, I'm going to take these out. You want to be just really careful just pulling them out. Basically, you just want to squeeze this in and just pull it out. And sometimes if you have a difficult time, it's okay because you can still kind of fix it. But it's looking pretty good. And I'm going to just pick it up like that. Turn it over, get a little bit of water as glue, put it on the back of your bow, and then I'm going to just turn it over, put it on top of the cupcake, press down just a little bit, not too hard because you don't want to crush your bow, and you have a nice little cute cupcake. Okay, so here are our completed cupcakes, the bow cupcake and the Chanel cupcake. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you soon.